yes, we do indeed have new data. First of all, we have a study in press, which shows the proof of concept that we can ac accelerate this new method from 30 minutes down to three minutes while maintaining the efficacy in infection control. And this is so important because we want to take the technology to the slit lamp. And no person could sit at a slit lamp being treated for 30 minutes in one go. Um, so one paper is published on 20 persons. Um, the second paper, is, has, the study has been finished and the paper has been submitted where we compare the efficacy of antibiotic treatment for infection against antibiosis plus pack crosslinking and the difference in healing is substantial. Patients heal five days faster in seven days only as compared to 12 days in antibiotics only. There is a number of good reasons why you should consider PAC crosslinking as an additional therapy modality in the future. First of all, PAC crosslinking does not only kill and address bacteria and fungi at the same time, it also increases the resistance to digestion of the tissue. And this is something no antibiotic can do. So, in theory, if you do PAC crosslinking, the resulting scar will be less extensive because the resistance of the tissue against digestion is greatly increased. That's one reason. The other reason is, look at it on a global level. In many areas of the world, antibiotics, which are the current weapon against infection, are inexpensive. What limits the patient's availability to treatment is the doctor. We ophthalmologists are way too expensive for the common patient to see five, ten times in a row, which is necessary in an infection. The other reason why we believe back crosslinking will be so essential is not everybody is a cornea specialist with 20 years of experience looking at an infection. We will have general ophthalmologists with maybe little experience in, in, in corneal infection and uh, an infection in the cornea can always be either bacterial or fungal and the treatment modalities are fundamentally different. Pack crosslinking kills both. So it takes the di dilemma out of the doctor's hands, do I treat with antibiotics or with antifungal? And what if I'm wrong clinically? And uh, last not least, um, if you see it as an add-on, it will always reduce the overall amount of bacteria, living bacteria present. So you can use it as an add-on to make the, the work of the antibiotics easier.